a lot of you have asked me to do more videos on the bar scene and Pater and that side of Thailand. So here's we're gonna I'm gonna do a few more. This one is I'm gonna do a few on these, the bar fine tips. Now a lot of you subscribers, new subscribers, are people that haven't been to Thailand before or maybe been once haven't gone into the let's let's say Pattaya. Uh, so a great bit of advice and I, I learned this when I was um, managing the bars I learned this pretty quick and it's great advice so listen carefully let's assume you are going on holiday to Thailand and you're going to Pattaya let's assume it's one of your first visits and you you roughly know what's going on you've got your hotel you've landed you've got, Pattaya, you've got in your hotel get a map from the hotel they always give you free maps find someone there who can point out where are the areas where all the bars and the girls are uh, mate you might already know you've been there before maybe so work out where your hotel is where the bars are now let's again assume you're gonna have a few girlfriends in your holiday you're gonna bar find a few girls so top tip Day one, go the furthest bar from your hotel as you can. Go to that area, bar find your girl there. Furthest one away. Bar find, happy, on your arm, walking around, great. Now let's say you're promiscuous and it's day two. You want a different girl. So you then don't go quite as far. Come a bit closer to your hotel. Girl number two bar fine on your arm walking around no problem day three a bit closer to your hotel and so on you're working your way back to your hotel why you're asking okay so this is the good tip by doing that on day two when you've got your second girlfriend she's on your arm you're walking you're not walking past that first bar the first girl she's not going to see you if you ignore this advice and you grab a second girl, second night, and you walk past the bar from the night before, you can bet every penny that those girls or that girl will see you. And maybe nothing will happen. Quite often though, the girls are going to react a bit. They might give you a load of grief. They might even throw stuff at you. But the main thing is that girl you took the night before will lose face. Her friends will see she will lose face. Plus she might have thought you were going to be the guy for the whole week. You know? And she is going to be sad and lose face. By doing the step day by day, coming closer, you're not going past those previous bars, less chance of you uh, bumping into previous girls and them losing face. If you're out in the street with girl number two or three and you see a girl from a previous night, it's not a problem because she's away from the bar, she's not losing face. She might even have a customer and she'll smile at you. She's not losing face. Maybe very late at night her bar's closed and she's out wandering around and she sees you. She's still not losing face. She might growl at you, give you some finger signs. But the tip is, if you're going to bar find several girls, you don't want to rub salt into the wounds of the previous girls. You don't want to upset them. You don't want them losing face. You want to avoid those situations. It's always the best thing to do. So by setting the path, moving towards your hotel each night on the different bar finds, you're getting a better chance of not bumping into the previous young ladies. Makes sense? Trust me, you don't want the Thai girls to lose face. That is a good tip on bar finds. I'll do some more bar find tips I've got for you soon. Thanks for watching. Please share, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.